bad. When the public enters the family home, everybody separates. So he takes that form like that. That is the power your public should have. And public should develop. Not to add fuel and join in the confusion of the day-to-day -day homes, but bring peace to When you see it, you lose that level of peace. And not only pundits, but pundits, a whole lot we should seek to do that. So he takes this form and he approaches Vibhishan. And Vibhishan is listening also because Sri Hanumanji, what is he saying all the time as well? Ram, 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 Ram. So Vibhishan is chanting Ram, Ram, Hanuman chanting Ram, Ram. And of course, when we meet someone, in common, we are over Someone we have a relationship with, a commonality with, we always are, have an extra happiness. That is what makes us happy. And Vibhisha now, listening to Hanuman chanting Ram Ram, this Brahman coming down the road, he goes and he meets and greets him and tells and says, Tell me of yourself, O Brahman. Are you one of Hari's own servants? For the sight of you has filled my heart with exceeding devotion to you. Oh, are you Sri Ram himself, a loving friend of the poor? Come to meet me, greatly blessed. These are the questions he asks in the moment. And the man begins his reply to you. Jaldi. What is the Jaldi? 
quickly bring God into our lives. Just as bring the water quickly, bring God into our lives. Bring life into our lives at all times. And after the Ram Kathana, Vibhishan introduces himself a little, speaks a little now about himself. Hanuman was speaking all the time. Listen to what Vibhishan says in these beautiful chopas. Shri Rama, Shri Rama Jai Rama, Jai Jai Rama, Development. 
Which comes first, the tongue or the teeth? I love you, eh? The tongue. Then the teeth grows, right? And when we live a right, full life, what happens to the teeth while we live and live in? They start to what? Fall out. New number, please. They start to fall out. Until eventually, by the time 100 and something, most of them are out. Or even before 100 and something, most of them are out. So he is like the tongue between the teeth, the bhakta. We are all, firstly, divine in nature. The rakshas like qualities grow as we become contaminated with the earth. Even born a rakshas. Rawan didn't born, was not born a rakshas. He was from the lineage of Pulasthamuni, one of the Saptarishis. One of the sons of Brahma. Brahma was his Aja. Wickedness. Evil. Tamu. Develops if we make the wrong choices. And these states of lust, anger, greed, hatred, and jealousy, that is what the teeth represent, really. And all the vasanas, all the bad habits as well, that could endure. The ability for you to continue to be a bhakta and progress in life. In other words, you can bite out your tongue if you allow these teeth to lose control. You can lose your character, your reputation, the goodwill people have for you when you try to be a schemer. When you try to run. When you try to advance yourself unethically, so we were born with the teeth that grew. Similarly, understand that we can keep it under control. That tongue has to be under control. We have to be particular of our surroundings, even physically. Dangerous. Be very careful at all times. But trust in Bhagwan and be faithful to Bhagwan and Dharma. And he will protect us. Yes, the tongue is protected between the teeth. So he lives bet between the tongue, between the teeth, just as the tongue does. This is how he survives in Lanka. Because Ravan is anti Ravan, opposite to Sri Lanka. And you know, powerful, there are certain, there are ten types of people we should never make enemies with in Sri Rama. And those ten, Rama possesses the ten qualities. So you have to be very careful treading in on that. But do not despair to keep the feet up. Do not be ashamed to be a Hindu. to follow the practices and teachings of Hinduism because it is very enriching. It is set like such, they are all done. Truth, purity, compassion, and charity. That is Samadhi and Dharma. Those are the four legs of Dharma. 